Well, we're excited to officially welcome a new member to our News Nation family and a new show to our lineup. Emmy Award winning journalist Elizabeth Vargas is going to be joining us as host of Elizabeth Vargas Reports. It's an hour long weekday news program. It will debut April 3rd from a new state of the art studio in New York City. Vargas is currently the host of iCrime, a show that broadcasts nationwide and previously hosted 2020 on ABC News. And that's where I met Elizabeth Vargas when we both worked there at that network. Elizabeth is joining us right now. Congratulations first. I have to say welcome, even though you've been joining us here on Morning in America for every uh, every week. Thank you, Adrian. Where you lead, I will follow. Oh my. <laughs> Well, you are so sweet. Uh, you know, you have had quite a career. Uh, what do you want to do differently, or will we see more of the same of some of your amazing coverage on crime and uh, very big stories on Elizabeth Vargas reports? Tell us what to expect. You know, this is a news, an in-depth news of the day hour that we're going to be presenting uh, from six to seven o'clock Eastern. Um, the big stories of the day with newsmaker interviews, the chance to go in depth. As you know, Adrian, I anchored World News Tonight on ABC News for many years, and you know that's that was 22 minutes. It's a half-hour program minus commercial break. It's 22 minutes, and you didn't have a lot of time to really delve deep. With this hour-long program, we do, and we will. Um, ask a lot of tough questions um, and, and dive deep into the big news of the day, like, my gosh, today's ground stop, which is really something. Um, what a huge story that yes. is. Um, and we'll continue to be for many days until we figure out what happened um, and what's behind all of this. But I, I think it's just, you know, my gosh, I think there's a lot of noise out there and we just want to be a, a smart program. It's not an opinion program. I don't think people personally i don't i don't want to share my opinions that's not what my job is my job is to report the news and, and to report it well and to report it fairly um the stories that affect everybody everywhere in this country you know i i think that you join a whole rank of journalists here who agree uh it's not about our opinions it's about people being able to make up their own minds once they hear all sides of a story uh, are you able to pull back the curtain a little bit and, and talk about a what is different about you and I know you host a podcast focused on addiction recovery and stigma and you've had your own personal journey uh, but this is inspired life for you not only behind the camera but on the camera absolutely listen I definitely plan to tackle the whole subject of mental health and substance use disorder on my show when given the chance uh, even that week I filled in um, earlier for News Nation at 8 o'clock um, back in September we did a, a whole segment on the fact that the AMA was recommending for the very first time ever that doctors begin screening all of their adult patients for anxiety disorder these are huge issues that affect Americans everywhere a lot of the part of the, the crisis that the border has to do with all the fentanyl coming into this country, but it, we can't just stop the drugs from pouring into the country. We have to do something to treat the demand for drugs in this country. Mm -hmm. I think mental health and substance use disorder are huge issues that need to be really explored deeply, smartly, and authentically. And I bring all of that to the table because of my own personal experience. I've, I've written a book about my struggles with anxiety and alcoholism, and I'm so proud that I've been in recovery for nearly a decade. Um, so that's something I, I hope to shine a light on too because millions and millions of Americans and tens of millions of Americans family members you know are all suffering from this this condition and I applaud you for being honest because I think a lot of times we aren't vulnerable especially in the position of being a journalist you know you have a certain level of decorum and you don't want to jump and over personalize a story but all of us have a story behind the story and I just think it's wonderful that you've been able to tell yours I know I was just reading something about how 988 the new uh, suicide prevention hotline number has been inundated with calls over the past year to three years uh, I'm sure in part as to why uh, or I'm sure in part due to what we've been going through as a country uh, but is there anything that you want to share with us uh, just I don't want to leave anything out we have a few more seconds as to a sneak peek as to what we can expect from your show it's just going to be a smart show. I hope people will tune in. I'm excited to be part of this team and building this brand new news network. I know that you know in the spring we're going to launch even more programming and become a real true you know 24 hour news network. And it's really exciting to be building a show from the ground up and to be working with so many people like yourself um, that I worked with at ABC News prior to this. It's a smart team there and and a really exciting mission I think. And I couldn't be more thrilled to be joining. 
Well, we are thrilled to have you, Elizabeth Vargas. Thank you. And I know there are a lot of viewers who are going to be excited to see your face on TV even more than they can now. So again, congratulations. Thank you, Adrian. Yes, Elizabeth Vargas reports debuts April 3rd at 6, 5 Central, right here on News Nation. We'll be right back. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.